With Tairawhiti's vaccination rate still one of the lowest in the country, the Prime Minister's visit was an exercise in rallying the troops. My message here is one of optimism. 2,580 uh, to reach the milestone of 90%. It is so yeah. achievable. Uh, and I absolutely believe um, in the ability of Tairawhiti to do that. The PM joining Associate Minister of Health Pene Hinare on his national vaccination roadshow. Accompanying them were Ikaro Rafati MP Mika Faitari and East Coast MP Kiri Allen. Their first stop, Turanga Health, an iwi provider at the forefront of boosting vaccination levels. They are our superheroes, you know, they're out there every single day. They're up at the crack of dawn, 5am, pushing right through to, you know, 11, 12, right into the night. I know I get text messages from them at all hours. So these people here who are intimately connected in our communities, they're going to be the ones that can provide the solutions for our whānau. We've seen over the last three weeks a huge big pickup in our numbers. That's because of the efforts of whānau like this. This is a, another chance to come and visit with the local team on the ground who are doing amazing work on vaccinations, just to say thank you um, and to also just say keep going. Some local residents raise concerns around the opening of the Auckland border why Tairawhiti remains vulnerable but the Prime Minister says protection measures are in place. We still want to put in protection measures, and we've got three. Um, the first is the fact that we are asking everyone leaving for that holiday period to be either double vaccinated or have a test. Neither um, has, has ever been completely fail safe, but it is an extra measure. Mm. The second thing that um, we're doing is trying to drive up vaccination rates across the country so that if you have cases, you've got a more protected environment, you've got a more protected um, population. And the third thing we're doing is the COVID protection framework. That's why we're bringing it in. Uh, we're bringing it a bit earlier than we'd anticipated because it gives that extra layer of protection. And it means if you do have an unvaccinated person who comes and travels to Tairawhiti, they actually won't be able to go to events. They won't be able to go to places that might be high risk. We have concerns, but we also realise uh, what we're up against and the clear messaging from the government around uh, the traffic lights. We've engaged with iwi uh, prior to the announcement. We continue to engage with iwi, um, which is represented by this uh, rohe, um, and we'll continue the dialogue because I think they, like the government, is committed to doing whatever we can do to keep Tairawhiti safe. To the particular point, though, around vaccinations, you'll know that that's our biggest drive and the biggest way that we can keep our whānau safe. Uh, we've seen another a, a clock up in terms of the vaccination percentages today, and we're really excited to see that. We're at 84% first dose. That's 2,500 people uh, left to go to get their first dose here in Te Rafati. These aren't big numbers. Uh, and you have a room, you know, we've got people like foot soldiers up and down our electorate who are doing everything, blood, sweat, tears, giving their all to ensuring that our whānau is safe. The group also called into the vaccination pop-up clinic in Kaiti Moor where they were welcomed by Kaiti School. This was cut short due to protesters. The next stop was Lawson Field Theatre, where they met with two Mai Tairawhiti representatives to talk about initiatives and to unveil Te Mita Tū Mai, a barometer done by local artist Irina Kōpū. For the Prime Minister, the mission to increase Gisborne's vaccination rates is a very personal one. Just a, a, an extra acknowledgement that yours are the numbers that I go to first every single day. <laughs> um, and for a couple of reasons. Um, one is because uh, this is, this is a, I consider this a second home. And this is, uh, this is Clark's Sudan Huawei, this is where all of his family live, and um, uh, this is a very special place to be. Um, the second reason is because uh, even though on the numbers board, percentage-wise, it might look like there's a bit of a way to go, we all know that numbers-wise, you are so close <laughs> to hitting some of the milestones that we want to reach. Renee Lola here, Local Focus.